Hi everyone, my name is Dinesh Sirasena and I'm a consultant in sports medicine. I use ultrasound regularly in my clinical practice and I wanted to share with you some of the things I've learned along the way. By the end of the video today, hopefully you'll have a better understanding on how to hold the transducer to optimize your imaging. Just as a recap, this is the transducer, and you may have come across this slide in some of my previous videos. The transducer contains important elements, which includes the power cable, the piezoelectric crystals that emit and receive the sound waves, and there's various insulating structures around it as well. Each transducer has different functions, and you need to choose this according to the purpose of the imaging and also the area that you're going to be scanning. Before we consider how to hold the transducer, let's consider how not to hold the transducer. In the images here, there's two grips that are being used. This is commonly seen by trainees or individuals who are early in their ultrasound journey. And while you are holding the transducer quite firmly, the issue here is that you're lacking stability. Because ultrasound is a dynamic form of imaging, you do need that stability to optimize your images, and unfortunately both of these grips do not really confer that. What I suggest that you do is to consider using what I call the tripod grip when holding the transducer. Much like you might hold a pen, you grip the transducer and place your hand, the base of your hand, on the patient. This confers a lot of stability and it also allows you to follow the patient's anatomy as you're doing your imaging. So it's much like holding a tripod and there's three points of contact, two on the transducer itself and one on the patient. If we take the transducer away, you can see the shape my hand forms when holding it. As mentioned, this provides the tripod grip with two points of contact on the transducer and one on the patient. It allows you to have the most stability when you're performing your imaging and will hopefully give you the best image quality possible. This grip can be used for all types of transducer and we can see here that I'm demonstrating it on the linear the hockey stick and the curvilinear transducer. By doing so, you're going to confer a lot more stability to your images, you're going to be able to follow structures more easily, and you're going to get better images overall. I hope you all enjoyed the video, that it's informative and is added to your knowledge of ultrasound imaging and how you can use it in your clinical practice. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below and subscribe to the channel for further updates. I hope to see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.